Hey there. So the um, the subject here on this rant will be planking with and from back when I repaired the starboard Alma on its outer uh, half quarter there where the transom had been damaged <clears throat> where the bending radius was really really small I was using planks that were approximately I don't know about 150 millimeters wide around six inches and that was something that I kind of became accustomed to and when I went back in the back of the uh, aft cabin back there um, and I tore out the inside of the hull where I found a large void that was about half this size um, I used approximately the same width planks about yeah about a hundred millimeters 150 millimeters wide and laid them in at 30 degrees because of some you know apprehensive concerns about <clears throat> um, the compliance of the plywood and the formation of voids and moving forward here onto this area which is is fairly um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, non non delineated in in yeah um, in both directions. It's it's fairly it's fairly f um, flat. There's not a lot of compound curvature, and so I started using planks that were a little bit wider. Um, feeling like I was really putting on my big boy pants doing that and then um, I had this area over here that needed to be replanked and the I was looking at three very narrow planks and I just said the hell with it and went all the way up to uh, 300 millimeters which is um, you know well let's see 100 millimeters for yeah it's about a foot um, wide and I'm actually happy to say that by getting the uh, keeping the resin viscosity low and getting the plank up and clamp down with the with the heavy duty staples in an expeditious and timely manner um, and you know putting putting a, a, a fairly decent amount of pressure with the hand ahead of the staple gun. Um, these, these pieces have laminated without <clears throat> excessive resin in the center. Um, there's one area here where the, uh, there's a slight low spot because my plank uh, shifted over about a millimeter and that lets that feather edge drop down. Um, over here, I stayed on my line. When I fit these planks up, I take a straight edge and I shift it over until the feather edge of the scarf comes up and makes full contact with the straight edge. That's where I stop. I draw a reference line, drill a hole for two toothpicks. And those are the uh, two areas, um, the, the two reference points for locating the plank when it goes back on. Um, the toothpicks are kind of like a, a rough locating means. They, they get it pretty close within a, you know, two millimeters in any direction. And then I just glance down at the lines before I start firing staples and tip the toothpick over um, to shift the plank accordingly. It's, it really, really works well. All right. Um, I'll have some more information. I got about three days before I have to get out of here, so time's running short. I got to get an, this other layer on, um, get a semi decent fairing job on this thing, and get a seal coat or two of epoxy on it. Um, if I have the luxury of more time, I'll put a layer of glass on it, but otherwise, this is all it gets until I return.